Welcome back, everybody. Good Wednesday evening to you all. A high wind warning continues for areas just off of the Rocky Mountain fronts as we've got some pretty strong winds really locally right down off of the mountain right here, but uh, right around Deep Creek, which is just to the southeast of East Glacier, just recently had a wind gust to 79 miles per hour. That's uh, some pretty strong wind. Cup Bank seeing some pretty strong wind as well. So really uh, anywhere just east of the mountains and we've got some wind that are topping 40, even 50 miles per hour. Now, not for the immediate future. This is not imminent. This is for Friday, and this will go until Friday evening from Cup Bank through Great Falls, out through Haver, over the Bear Paws, Fergus County, all the way into Broadwater, Jefferson County, and Lewis and Clark County. We've got a winter weather advisory. Snow, a bit of wind, temperatures dropping. When I'm a little concerned about this, uh, is because this snow will start out wet and it's been warm and then temperatures will drop quickly. So by Friday afternoon and evening, roads will likely become very slippery. It's not a lot of snow, but with the temperatures dropping after a wet snow, maybe a mix of some rain and snow at the onset, it could get icy here Friday, Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, there are a couple of snow showers falling up over the Bob Marsh wilderness. Uh, probably not any of those sprinkles reaching the ground in Haver. Uh, some weird weather going on. I mentioned yesterday that it snowed in Mexico, parts of Texas. Well, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee looking at snow coming down right now. That's very early. Uh, for those areas to be seeing snow and the California wildfires here. I want to bring you a little closer into where the campfire is located. There's Chico. Here are the Sierra Nevada mountains and the town of paradise that was completely lost is in the foothills of the Sierra mountains, heavily timbered around this entire area and a closer look and some of the latest information. Once again, that fire just kind of off. There's paradise right there. Uh, 135,000 acres. The fire has not grown much here over the last couple of days because the wind has calmed down. Containment slowly going up and you know it also is slowly going up. The number of fatalities are up to 48 fatalities and that number will very likely go up as there are still over 100 people that are unaccounted for. Most of those people are the elderly in uh, their 80s and their 90s and they're unaccounted for. So uh, in Southern California, two people have uh, died here in the, the Woolsey fire. And uh, these areas, these two fires have had some activity over the last couple of days, still with a little bit of Santa Anta winds uh, down there. Uh, here in Montana, we've got the wind across north central parts of the state here overnight tonight and then heading into Thursday. It's a windy day again, similar to what we've been dealing with. Look at the clouds increasing through the afternoon and here we we go Thursday night. Notice a little green, a little mix of some rain and snow potentially going over to snow through the day on Friday. Here we are at noontime. Great Falls looking at snow. Lewistown, ha uh, Helena, uh, Haver likely the snow coming to an end here by about noontime Friday and snow continuing. Lewistown, Great Falls around the capital, Butte, Bozeman, Livingston, down through Billings through Friday evening. And again, those temperatures will drop and the roads will be slick. Snowfall amounts. Here we go through Friday uh, up around Glasgow, a couple inches, Haver, a couple inches, Great Falls through the capital again, a couple inches of snow and the mountains maybe as much as nine inches of snow. Not a huge snowstorm, but again, will be slippery on Friday. Lows tonight staying generally above the freezing point here. Not too chilly around the capital. We may have a few spots down into the 20s. Here is Thursday's forecast another breezy, windy day off of the Rocky Mountain front, but a blustery day with highs above average. And then the front goes through generally Friday morning when we'll likely look at the worst snow. I know you're seeing temperatures in the 30s, but it will fall into the 20s through the afternoon. So temperatures really falling all day long on Friday. So making for some slick spots on the road Saturday, sunny, but chilly with temperatures only in the 20s and the low 30s. And then Sunday we'll have a little warmer weather. Once again, some wind off the Rocky Mountain front, but it will be a mostly sunny day for most of the state. And after we get through Friday, I don't see much in the way of snow here. So good travel conditions. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday here throughout a lot of the state. Maybe a little windy around Great Falls, but I don't see after Friday again uh, some snow moving in until potentially around Thanksgiving and maybe on Black Friday, the day right after. Uh, just a little light snow coming through. No major storms likely to impact travel going to where you're going on Thanksgiving. All right, thanks for that, Curtis. Sam, what do we got coming up next in sports? Yeah, coming up next, we'll have your Athlete of the Week. 